The ACE system on the Pilatus PC24 contains two multifunction displays. In the normal configuration, the lower MFD is the system's MFD. However, it can be displayed on either MFD using the MFD swap button. The system's MFD is divided into windows that contain information about the various systems installed on the aircraft. The 1 6th windows on the left always display the crew alerting system and multifunction windows. The crew alerting system window is also known as the CAS window. The 2 thirds window on the right can display a system summary as shown here. In addition, Individual system synoptics can also be displayed. Pushing the lower format button on the MFC can also display non-systems pages in this window, such as charts, maps, etc. This is helpful if the upper MFD has failed. In this case, a compacted system summary is displayed in the lower 1 6th window. The CAS window displays messages to alert the crew about malfunctions or abnormal operating conditions. When a warning or caution message is first displayed, it is shown in reverse video until the master warning or caution acknowledgement button on the glare shield panel is pushed. Messages in the CAS window are organized by color. Red, or warning messages, are always displayed on top, followed by amber caution messages. Cyan messages are advisory messages. These messages do not require immediate action by the pilot. White messages are status messages. Refer to the AFM or QRH for more information about a CAS message. The multifunction window contains numerous system pages. The electronic checklist is displayed here by default. To access the other pages, place the cursor in the window. Then, push the Page button to access the System Configuration drop-down menu. The Sensors page provides the pilot with the status of the navigation sensors installed. The Performance page displays the FMS position information and the current EPU, or Estimated Position Uncertainty. Clicking on the drop-down menu provides access to individual sensor pages. The FMS page gives the pilot the ability to select whether the two flight management systems work independently, in single mode, or in sync. The GPS pages display current GPS sensor information. Predictive RAIM information is also available here. The RAIM information for the destination airport in the flight plan will be automatically displayed. You can look up another airport by entering the identifier and an ETA. The IRS page shows the status of the IRS, including the current mode and position information. The AHARS page displays the current AHARS mode. It can also be used to control the heading source for the co-pilot's PFD. The Sensor Selection page shows which sensors are currently being used. This page can also be used to deselect individual sensors if necessary. The Weather, Lightning and TAWS control pages provide configuration and setup information for the weather radar and TAWS systems. The avionics window is used to configure display options for the PFD and the flight control systems. The flight control systems tab can be used to change the display format of the flight director. The miscellaneous tab contains the display options for the pop-up keyboard and crew profiles. Crew profiles can be used to save predefined settings for the PFDs and MFDs to load automatically on PowerUp. The Custom Database tab is used to manage information saved to the custom database, such as pilot entered waypoints and flight plans. The Data Link selection will display Data Link configuration options and will be available when the Data Link function is implemented. 
in-flight, the system configuration and data loading selection is not available and is grayed out, as shown here. On the ground, this selection is available and is used to view systems and software information. The two-thirds window on the right can display synoptics of various systems. By default, the system summary synoptic is displayed. Each of the six windows is labeled with the type of information being displayed. The configuration window displays the status of landing gear, flaps, parking brake, lift dump, and air brake. The ice detector window indicates when ice is detected. The trim position summary window shows the position of the stabilizer, aileron, and rudder trim. The electrical summary window displays voltage and current readouts, as well as battery charge enunciations for each battery. The fuel summary window displays fuel quantity as well as fuel flow information. The environment summary window displays cabin pressurization and temperature indications. The landing field elevation is automatically set based on the FMS flight plan. To manually set a landing elevation, push the destination elevation button. The elevation can then be adjusted as necessary using the CCD or MFD scroll knobs. The low cab mode will automatically adjust the cabin pressure to match the landing field elevation. The aircraft will then maintain this pressure as long as the maximum cabin differential pressure is not exceeded. The current cabin altitude differential pressure and the cabin climb rate are shown here. The cockpit and cabin temperature can be adjusted individually using the associated bezel buttons. To access an individual synoptic window, click on the synoptic button. The engine synoptic window shows engine parameters including fan speed, ITT, oil temperature and pressure, fire extinguisher status, and FADEX status. When an individual synoptic is displayed, a compacted system summary will continue to be displayed. The fuel window contains fuel system information, including controls for fuel pumps, transfer, and cross-feed operations. The electrical window displays the electrical system status, including electrical source and voltage and amperage information. The ECB window displays the status of various circuit breakers and provides control for remote-mounted electronic circuit breakers. The brakes window displays brake system information. This window also permits control of the brake pump and anti-skid mode. The ice protection window provides a visual representation of the ice system operation and indicates when associated ice protection systems are activated. The ECS window contains environmental systems information, such as heating and cooling, oxygen, and various environmental controls. The system's MFD on the Pilatus PC-24 provides the pilot with a vast amount of system information. For more details, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.